Upon arriving at my Garment Deli homepage for the first time, I'm greeted by a rather plain but fully customizable website. In order to begin customizing my website, I first need to go to my admin control panel. To do this, I'll click on Login in the top right corner. I'll enter in my username and my unique password. Click Login. At my admin control panel, I'm able to complete a multitude of tasks. I can do everything from publish my designs to edit my content blocks and change owner information or passwords. What I want to work on today is my page layout and colors, and I'll do that by clicking on the page layout and colors link below edit theme and pages. The first two sections below page layout and colors are logo settings and color options. I'll be using these sections to upload my header image as well as to manipulate the colors on my website. I'm going to go into great detail about both of these sections in a few moments, but for right now I want to explore the rest of this page. The next section I come across is design display options, and here I'm given the option of putting a border around my published artwork. If I do not want a border, I'll just leave this number in the field box at zero. If I do want a border, I can put in any number I want here, and it represents the width of the pixels around your image. I recommend somewhere between 1 and 5, uh, but you can play around with it and see what works for you. Under page layout options, I'm given several different choices for where to display such things as product category links, content links, login logout link, shopping cart link, and even a design search form. My options consist of display and nav bar, which will display the content in the top navigation bar, or display and sidebar, which will create a sidebar to the left of your screen. At messages and content, I'm given the ability to type in a custom message or even upload an image that will appear above the style selection garments. At footer message, I'm able to type in a custom message that will appear at the very bottom of my page in the footer. By default, it's set to copyright, the copyright symbol, the current year, and the site's name. At style display preferences, Garment Deli clients that are enrolled in the inventory program are given the option of toggling on or off their links to style details for their prefabricated items. Below that, Garment Deli users are given the ability to toggle on or off the array of color options that are displayed when clicking on the Garment Details tab. The last section on this page is Advanced Options, and it can be accessed by clicking on the link. In the field box that appears is where you can type in your additional CSS code for your website. If you do not know what CSS code is or do not have much experience with it, we suggest that you just ignore this field. One thing to keep in mind is that if you make changes on this page, you must scroll to the bottom and click Save Configuration in order for your changes to take place. Now that I have finished reviewing the page, I'm ready to go back and upload my header logo and manipulate my website's colors. To upload a header logo, I need to scroll to the top of the page to the Logo Settings section. I'll click on the Browse button and that will take me to my computer where I can navigate to where my logo is stored. Mine is on my desktop in a folder called Garment Deli Images. I'll double click on it and then double click on the image I want to use. You can now see that the source of my image is in this field box, and when I scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Configuration, an update will take place, and soon my header logo will be, will be displayed on the top of this page. If I switch over to my home page, it is also now displayed. One thing you do want to keep in mind with your header logo is it must be less than 960 pixels wide in order to avoid cropping. With my header logo now uploaded to my site, I'm ready to start customizing my site even more by manipulating its colors. To do this, I'm going to switch back over to my page layout and colors and scroll down to color options. On the right hand side of color options, I'll see a color zones chart. And this chart corresponds to the different parts of my website. The top is my header and that's where my logo currently sits. 
There's also the footer section, which has the copyright information, and the content area where my t-shirts will eventually be published. This chart comes in handy also when you're changing the colors of your website because it gives you a rough idea of where you'll be changing the colors. Today I'm just going to change a few of the colors to show you how it's done and I'm going to start with the first navigation bar which is displayed right here in the chart. So to change that color I'll go to first navigation bar color and click on the background color. A color wheel is going to appear and I'll click and drag on the outer wheel to get to a blue color that I want. I'll click and drag on the inner square to get a different shade of that blue color, something darker. I also want to change the link color to white and I'll just click and drag to the left or to the right of the square to get white. The next color I want to change is the content color background. So I'll go to content color, click on the background field box, and I want that to be a light blue color. So once again, I'll click and drag on this outer circle and click and drag on this inner square to a light blue color. The final thing I want to change is I want to add a search bar to my website. So I'll do that by going to page layout options and going to the very bottom where it says design search form. Here I'll click design display and sidebar and when I'm all finished I'll scroll to the bottom and click save configuration. You can now see that the changes have taken place. My first nav bar is this dark blue color and the links are white. The background color for my content is now this light blue color and I have a search field in my sidebar. If I switch over to my website and refresh, the same changes have also taken place on my home page. So I've just completed a very brief tutorial on how to change and manipulate the colors on a Garment Deli website. At this point, it's your turn to go and change and manipulate the colors on your Garment Deli website in order to achieve that theme, that color, and that look that you're seeking for your business. Be sure to check out our other Garment Deli videos that deal with editing content blocks and creating custom backgrounds.